what's going on Fishaholics and welcome back to another video. Today is day four down here in Georgia and for those of you guys that saw day one and two you might be wondering what happened to day three. Well uh, we fished hard yesterday on the Chattahoochee River for some stripers and the Chattahoochee actually runs parallel right here at Fox Hall Resort where I'm staying and we gave it like four or five hours but it was a total bust, it was a washout. We got downpoured on for a couple hours. Uh, we did fish one good, really good looking spot, which was like a bridge that went across the Chattahoochee. We lost a few swim baits, didn't uh, get any fish. And then we kind of just pond hopped like we did on day two. But uh, I don't know, the bass bite <laughs> was really slow. We even ended up coming here to Lunker Lake to see if we could at least capitalize on a spot that I, you know, on day one produced our, our PB seven pound, one ounce, largemouth and we caught a lot of fish on day one here but uh, yesterday for whatever reason it just seemed like the Chattahoochee and the lakes and the ponds weren't producing so uh, today on our last day last full day we're gonna take out the John boat first on Lunker Lake see if we can of course get a Lunker that'd be crazy I'd be super stoked if we can actually beat our PB which we caught on day one but uh, if we can just get out here for at least a couple hours see how the bite is if the bite's good we will stay a little bit longer if it's slow then we'll just keep bouncing around Foxhall. All right, so we're gonna probably start off throwing this Rapala Deep Runner. This is what we caught the seven pounder on day one. And this is rigged on our six foot, six inch, medium light power, fast action St. Croix Triumph travel rod with 1,000 pen battle, 10 pound power pro, and we're using an eight pound test leader, which I was hoping we had you know, some 12 left from yesterday, but we used it all up. So, you know, if we get anything bigger than seven pounds, we just got to, you know, play them like we played that seven pounder, nice and easy. I also rigged up this heavier rod, which is my St. Croix Tidemaster, seven foot six inch, medium power, fast action, and this is rigged with a 4,000 shield, 20 pound power pro, and 20 pound fluorocarbon. And I actually got a little live target peanut bunker swim bait on there. And this is like the closest swim bait that probably would imitate a shad that we had in our arsenal. So that's why I tied it on. And it came to my knowledge yesterday that the Lunker Lake record largemouth is 14 pounds. That is double the size of the 7 1 that we caught on day one, which is crazy to think about. But there's also been a handful of 10 pounders that have come out of this lake, supposedly. So that's why I decided we needed to bring a bigger rod that we could throw some bigger swim baits. And that bait looks deadly in the water. So we'll throw this a little bit later. Let's first see if we can tap into a bite with the lighter setup and this Rapala Deep Runner. Cast it out as far as we can. And then we're gonna try and grind it down as deep as we can. Oh, it just got slammed. Hmm, really slow bite. We've been throwing around this Rapala Deep Runner for about an hour. We've had one solid hit, and that's about it. So it's not working right now. We're gonna, I guess, try a slower presentation. Maybe a Kitek? Hmm, yeah, well, why not? We'll try it. So we'll let this sink to the bottom, and then we'll just swim it right along it. It is kind of like sacrificing my jigs because I know there's a lot of structure down there on the bottom. There's a fish, first cast. Whew. It's a decent fish. It's pulling pretty good. Oh man, no. We didn't even get him in the mouth. All right, first. Little bass of the day, caught him in the back. It's a cold fish. That's a sign of finicky feeding fish, for sure. That's why we probably couldn't get him on the crankbait. All right, well, that's a start. Let's see if we can do that again. Maybe get the next one in the mouth. All right, really slow with the kite tech too, except for that one we snagged. I'm thinking maybe a Binsky would work. There's a fish. 
the heck is this? It's freaking trout. Oh, there he goes. It's a decent one, probably like 14, 15 inches. And I heard in this lake, they threw the rainbow trout in here so that they can feed the big bass, basically. Fish on. That's probably not a trout. All right. Another decent little bass. At least we didn't snag this one, but on the Binsky. A couple casts ago we had that trout and now we got this guy. So maybe the Binsky's gonna be the hot bait today. Maybe these, or maybe these fish are just starting to turn on bass and trout. <laughs> See you later, bud. There's one. Boom. Oh, another rainbow. <laughs> the trout are crushing the Binsky. That's a nice one. Oh, hey, hey. Look at this. Bluegill. <laughs> I'm catching everything today, but big bass. Oh, gosh. There's a fish. Decent fish, very decent. Woo! These little guys are feisty. They pull pretty good. It's not a giant. About the same size as what we've been catching. It's pretty fish. See ya. Ooh, we gotta jig this. Woo! Look at that. Hard to believe there wouldn't be a big fish in here. Oh, another one right there. They're piled up right in this spot. Oh. He just felt, he just got bigger. Yeah, there we go. Is that a fish? Oh, it's another one. They're stacked. Jeez, man. Fish feels just like dead weight though. Yeah. <laughs> Tree pounder. That's probably the structure that those fish are sitting on. Too bad we pulled it out of there. Oh, just got thumped hard. On the drop right there, another one. That's a bigger fish. Oh, that's a bigger fish. Stay hooked, stay hooked. Oh, it's a big fish. No. <laughs> Come on, stay hooked, stay hooked. Oh my gosh. This kind of feels like that seven pounder we had. No, 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 no. What happened? No. I think there's a tree right here. And he either wrapped around the tree or he popped off and. I hooked the tree. Dang, I don't know. It's just dead weight now. See, we got this big log thing here. It doesn't look like there's anything here for him to wrap me around, but we're stuck. Oh, dang it. For whatever reason, though, that was like three fish, like back to back, like right here along, I guess, an edge here. I don't know. There, there's this tree sticking in the water. I guess maybe some of that wood kind of stretches out over to here, but let's uh, put on another leader, see if we can capitalize on that failure. All right, that sucks we lost that big fish and the Binsky. There's one. Another good fish. Oh, pulling good. Dang. 
Dang, these fish so, pull so hard. Biggest one of the day so far right there. Hell yeah, look at that chunk. Look at that one. That is a solid fish. All right, so pretty sweet. They're love in the Binsky. And uh, you know what? It seems like I'm catching them just like along this same drop right here. You know, you just yo-yoing it along the bottom and they're crushing it. But <laughs> I barely stood a chance with that fish. You know, I have this, this tree right here. If I hook a eight, 10 pounder like that one we lost, like I don't know how many trees or sticks that we have like right below us right here, but it's so easy for a giant fish like that to have the upper hand, go down to the bottom, wrap around a tree. And that's why we lost that really big one we had. But at least we found a bite, so we're catching them. It's fun. Oh, look at this massive bluegill. Holy crap. Just an absolute tanker. All right, guys, I think that's it for Lunker Lake. Definitely one of the better lakes here at Fox Hall. And it was a tough bite in the beginning, but we kind of stuck it out. We figured it out and caught a lot of decent fish. Lost probably the biggest fish. And uh, at least we got on a bite. But uh, now I'm gonna go get a bite for myself because I haven't eaten anything all day. I have a tendency to forget to eat when I'm focused in on trying to catch fish. And then uh, after we do that, I also gotta empty out the GoPro because <laughs> we filled it up completely uh, filming on Lunker. And then I think we'll have enough time in the day to go to like one or two more lakes or ponds and uh, see if we can get, get that lunker that we're after. All right, so lunch was good. We had some leftover Thai food from last night. And we're gonna try out the horseshoe pond, which on day two we caught a five, six out of here. And this time we brought the net. And last time, if you saw that video, we had to crawl out over all these bushes just to be able to reach down and land that fish. So uh, it's a tough pond to fish because of all the vegetation around it and because it's like a really steep bank. But uh, I don't know, we lost one big one and then we landed one big one. There's some pretty impressive fish in this little horseshoe pond. So let's try it out today. All right, we're starting off with this Lucky Craft Chartreuse Jerk Bait. This was the hot bait in here on day two. Oh gosh, fish on. Hit it on the paws, I didn't even know he was there. Oh my gosh, it's not a bass, it's a crappy. It's a crappy, look at that one. Look at that gorgeous fish. Today's just a cool day because we're catching a variety of decent, really nice fish. Okay, fish number two out of the horseshoe. Not a big one, but that's the third one. Slow bite in the horseshoe pond today. All right, fishaholics. So I think that last bass will have to be it. Tomorrow morning, I'm flying back up to Jersey and uh, it was a great final day in Georgia. Caught a ton of fish. You know, I lost track of how many fish we caught and we called crappy, trout, largemouth bass, a big bluegill. So a uh, great day for sure. And I'm actually gonna go meet up with my sister, and Erica, and my, uh, her boyfriend, Max. And uh, if you guys didn't know, the reason I was able to stay here at Fox Hall Resort is because her boyfriend, Max, works for the resort. And uh, it's a cool place. I'll put more information down in the description if you guys want to co come down here and check it out if you're ever down here in the area. And uh, also, don't forget to check out the official Fishaholic merch. I'll put the link down in the description. And uh, I think that's about it. But we're going to do one more fun thing before the day ends. So I'm going to go meet up with them. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like always, never forget, live to fish, fish to live. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ha <laughs> ha!